Hey, this is Alan Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. Well, I'm still away or celebrating a holiday or perhaps behind on some work or more likely just being lazy. But as I've been saying these past few weeks, I plan for it and I have some helpful little After Effects bites so you don't have to suffer without your AE fix. Think of this as the AE podcast patch. In my tutorial called Workflow 8, Working with Audio, I talked about how you could see your waveform in the graph editor by clicking on the graph type and options button and from the pop-up menu, choosing the option called Show Audio Waveform. This is great for precision audio animation. When you can see the audio waveform, you can animate to the audio with much more accuracy. And it's here in the graph editor where you have real control over your keyframes, not in the regular timeline. But one issue with all of this was that if you deselected your audio layer, your audio waveform disappears. I didn't have a solution for this. So that said, I want to give props to Creative Cow member Daniel Gav, a talented animator from Italy with excellent taste in podcasts, I must say, who emailed me to say that he's found a solution to that problem, and I will share that with you now. Select your audio layer and hit L to reveal its audio levels property. Then just add a keyframe to the property. Unless you're keyframing the volume of your audio, and honestly, while you can do this in After Effects, this is really not the program in which you should be editing your audio, you can just add your keyframe anywhere in the timeline. It doesn't matter where. Personally, for keeping a clean house, I'd place it at the beginning of the timeline, but you know, that's just me. Anyway, once we've added the keyframe, we're going to activate another feature found in the timeline. Next to the keyframe stopwatch, you'll notice that there's a button that looks like a graph. This button is called the Include the Property in the Graph Editor Set button. And yes, that is a mouthful. So to simplify, I'm just going to call it Bob. Now, just so you know, Bob can be found hanging out next to virtually every property stopwatch, which means that this as of yet unexplained feature is available for almost every property. Okay, click on Bob, but not too hard. Sorry, Bob. And then in the graph editor here at the bottom, click on this eyeball button, which by the way is called the choose which properties are shown in the graph editor button. I know those guys at Adobe are not into brevity. And uh, from the pop-up, choose Show Graph Editor Set. Once you do this, every property that has Bob activated will show up here without having to be selected. It can be quite convenient, but also quite messy if you have many Bobs activated. That's right, lots and lots of Bobs can cause lots and lots of trouble. In our case, once you've activated Bob for the audio levels, in the Graph Editor, the waveform will remain visible even when deselected. Nice, right? Hey, don't thank me. Thank Daniel Gav for sounding off on this, and his excellent animation work can be seen at www.danielgov.it. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz and Bob for creativecow.net.